क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लीज डिस्टेंस ऑफ ए डिस्टेंट विजन एंड द एंगल ऑफ विजन दैट मीन्स दीज टू आर रिलेटेड टू द विजन ऑफ आई कमिंग टू द लीज डिस्टेंस ऑफ डिस्टेंट विजन इट इज द मिनिमम डिस्टेंस ऑफ आई लेंस विच कैन फोकस ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कंसिडर यू टेक ए टेक्सट बुक एंड यू ट्राई टू रीड इट फॉर फ्यू मिनिट्स you place it in two diff different positions you place it far away from your eye and try to read it so you can't read for a long time and if you place the textbook very close to your eye also you may not able to read the textbook for a long time and if you keep very close also you may i may not focus on the letters that means there should be some distance which is which that i focal length can focus or able to focus on the object so such distance is called as least distance of distant vision so if the object is at the place of least distance of distant vision then a person is able to see the object very clearly and without any strain of eye he can able to see the object for a long time if the object is near to that least distance of distant vision then he may not able to concentrate to see for a long time or the object may not be visible to eye for example if you place a pen or or any object very close to the eye then you may not observe what what it what it is and what it what the uh, for example any letters are there on the pen so you are not able to read the letters on the pen and in the same way if it is far also you may <coughs> not be able to see for a long period of time so here the least distance of distant vision varies from person to person for a normal person for a normal person the least distance of distant vision is 25 cm so at the distance of 25 cm the eye focal length of eye can focus very clearly on the object and the object can be seen very clearly by the eye but <coughs> for small children that means a uh, below 10 years the children below 10 years the least distance of distant vision will be from 7 to 8 cm it varies from person to person it won't be same for all persons it varies and in old age people those who are very old the least distance of distant vision will be 1 to 2 meters and it may be more than that basing upon the condition of the eye the least distance of distant vision changes and varies and here the least distance of distant vision is also known as near sight or near point so the near point of i is 25 cm and in the same way we will have a far point also the far point of i is infinity so a person is able to see an object up to the distance of infinity in finite distance a person is able to see any object and next we are having angle of vision angle of vision as the as the point near point is there as 25 cm uh, person is also having as uh, some angle to see an object so the angle is nothing but for example you consider this pen so at at a time if i am able to see the 
top point of the pen and the bottom point of the pen when when i am able to see if i place the pen close to my eye am i able to see the top and bottom of the pen no if i kept very far of course i can see that means uh, <clears throat> the two points the two rays which are coming from the pen should be uh, they they should meet at my eye so the two rays meeting at my eye will make a triangle for example it will be like this you consider a an object this is an object so a two rays are coming like this and here the, uh, this is an eye here this is an eye which is uh, observing the an object this is an object this is o o dash is an object and this is the eye which is observing the object so this angle this angle should be 60 degrees whenever the angle is 60 degrees a person is able to see the top and bottom of the eye that means that is a maximum angle uh, which a person can view an object so at 60 degrees a person is able to view an object completely so that is a maximum angle so that's why this is called as angle of vision